Hey guys, I decided to take on a new project. I want to do a version 2 of the um, motor select switch. Uh, I found the first version was a little bulky. Um, I ended up with this last year. This uh, case here, Brain Power Motor Controller. I blew this one up, but I got the case, and the case is pretty small. It's about the size of a small webcam. Uh, so it's perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting this uh, three selector switch in there. I drill a hole in the side and uh, mount that in there so it's somewhat watertight. Um, I was thinking of using these these uh, relays because basically they're modified. You can see a hole cut inside there. I run a small wire in there and uh, solder it to um, the pin that's always on, which is the back one here, which doesn't have a pin coming out for it. But the problem is they're a little tight. By the time I get the switch in there and the relays, there's not going to be much room for the wiring to come out. Um, I'm building this so I can basically put it on any bike. If I don't want it on this bike, I can put it on another one. I want to be able to have it where the wiring is coming out and it's long enough that uh, the, the leads will be long enough that I can plug it into each controller on the on the, um, the throttle and a lead long enough where I can run it to a 12 volt source to uh, power it up. Um, so center will be both motors, down will be left and uh, the back and then the uh, up will be the top, mo the front motor. Uh, I was thinking of using these because these are more easy to get a hold of. Their pulls from an old uh, receiver. Problem is, they're somewhat. I think they're somewhat sealed. I want to try and break into it and um, see if uh, I can just run a wire out the side. If there's three pins in there, like a center pin and then one up on the front and the back, then I can, like this one here, then I can pretty much do a mod on it where it's always on, and then uh, when you power it up, it turns it off because that's what you need. So I'm gonna see if I can open this up without destroying it. So you got a half decent view. I try and do this without uh, destroying the case. Well, actually, I got about a dozen of them, so let's just dig into it and destroy it. Because if uh, this one doesn't have three pins, then it's not worth the, uh, the effort. No. Well, that sucks. Ooh, that smells like it's a little toasted. No, it's only a two pin. Well, that kind of sucks. Sometimes when they uh, manufacture these, they put three pins in there, but they only use two. And uh, can't be bothered to change out the um, design of the relay. It saves on. Um, manufacturing but in this case they actually did make it too so that's out these are in we'll have to make it fit like I said as long as we can keep these to the side uh, and then we can run the wires through here so we'll have the little little hole a plate on here with a hole and then the wiring coming out so that'll work we'll go with that now this is why I keep all the wire <laughs> from e-bikes and builds and everything else um, what I do need for this mod is a female, a plug like this, but not the male end. I need the female end and two of them. And I pretty much keep all the wiring for any e-bike I've ever owned. And there's tons of it here. More connectors. There's a wiring harness in here too. Don't say I never keep wire. And if I can't, well, I can't really find them on the controllers because uh, this is what you usually get on the controller, the uh, male end. And uh, most of the female ends are two pin like that. So let me dig and uh, see what I can get here. I kind of lucked out. Couldn't find anything on the old boards there and I didn't want to rape any of those uh, controllers. They're all good or any of the throttles that I have there. Uh, ended up finding these 
Uh, this one's been chopped off, but you can pull the pins out and redo them. So we're going to use that. And this is an older one, but it's still good. We're going to cut the wiring off of this and redo it. And then what we'll need to do is put them on like extra long leads. And then you can just plug the, the controllers directly in. Um, only one has to have the um, power and the other one just has um, the sense wire. But uh, that's for another video. Um, I'll start this tomorrow morning. And we'll uh, get it wired up and testing it. Later, guys.